If you think about parenting teenagers, one of, I think, the great books along these lines, the book of Proverbs, uh, because you remember that Proverbs starts with Solomon saying, my son, my son. So he's speaking from a father's voice to a son or, or to a daughter. And uh, there are several things, themes that you see repeated, things that come up often. Uh, one of them is you see four main characters uh, that repeat in the book of Proverbs. One of those is the wise man. Uh, another is the fool. Another is a, a simple man. And then there's the, the wicked or the ungodly, people who, who are just not interested in, in God. And uh, he is, he's basically trying to make his simple son wise and make sure he doesn't become a fool. Uh, simple, simplicity basically is someone who is untaught. It's not necessarily negative. It means that they're not mature yet. They don't know yet. And so he's saying, my son, listen to me uh, so that you be wise because I don't want you to become a fool. And, and you need to be, to, wear, to be aware that you could get taken off track by the wicked. And you need to understand those, those, different, those different characters. Uh, it's interesting to follow how Solomon says a person goes from becoming simple to becoming wise, or how they go from becoming simple to becoming a fool, which is uh, a fool is someone who, who is um, set in his foolish ways, often deceived about how foolish they are, and is difficult to teach, where a simple man is still, or a simple girl is still, is still shapeable. And part of what takes a simple person to wisdom is understanding the consequences of their actions. Understanding that the choice I make today uh, could result in something a week from now or two weeks from now or three weeks from now. Uh, they talk about that the simple sleep during the harvest and um, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding the hands to rest in poverty will strike like a bandit and, and scarcely like an armed man. He says, be wise like the ant that stores up food a long time in advance. Uh, so that, that wise person is able to say, if, I'm, if I do this action, it will cause these results a month, two months, three months from now. And, uh, and because of that, I'm going to choose the, the, way, the, the righteous way. I'm going to choose the way of God because I know that that will be the way of, of blessing. Whereas uh, a fool just does whatever comes to their mind and particularly whatever will profit them the most right in that, that particular moment. So how do you take a simple teenager... Uh, girl or, or guy and help them become wise. Well, part of it is, is helping them think forward to the consequences of their actions. Being able to see farther down the road. When, when children are, are smaller, it's often, uh, well, if you do this, I'll spank you. Or if, if you do this, I'll ground you. Uh, actually, you're, you're wanting to train them to the point where they start to make the right decisions, even if mom and dad are not there to, to ground them or, or to, or to uh, spank them. Um, so I think uh, as, as uh, teenagers are disciplined, uh, there, there needs to be work spent not just shaping their behavior, but shaping their minds, helping them become wise, which is uh, fast forward them through the consequences of the, that decision. Okay, you're treating your brother in this way. How do you think that makes him feel? Um, what do you th how do you think that that's going to relate, how he, uh, affect how he relates to you this next week? Uh, what would happen if you became known as a person who treated people like that? Like that? How would, your, would you think your friends would want to be with you? Is this really who you want to be five years from now? Um, when you're in college, do you want to hate your brother and have him hate you? Or do you want to be close? And so you, you actually help them where, where they haven't learned this yet. The simple is just thinking about, my brother made me mad and he took my book and I don't want him to be in the same room. Uh, and they're not thinking forward, but, uh, but helping make them wise is lifting the horizon to where they're going and what are the consequences of their actions. So that's, uh, that is a key part, actually, of parenting teenagers is, is taking the simple and making them wise and uh, making them aware of, of the, fool, the path of the foolish and the danger of the wicked so that when they leave the home, when they're 18 or 19, um, the, uh, the law of God's written on their hearts and is not just... Um, uh, they, they do things because they're right, not because their parents will punish them for them.